in my own personal uh, instance, um, having abdominal issues, Crohn's disease, um, when multiple doctors come into the room and they don't have their story set with one another, they don't communicate with one another, uh, or at least it seems as though uh, that's the case to me, if they come in and do a physical exam uh, that involves poking or prodding of the like, uh, that can be exceptionally painful if three, four, five doctors or nurses come in and do the same thing, uh, which was my instance. Um, I had some severe lower abdominal pain, and, and I think at least four doctors came in, and they would come in and push on the admin and release quickly, uh -huh. and it was excruciating. Uh -huh. And I think that's something that could have been uh, relayed from one professional to the next, that this is what happened when we did this, and I think they would understand if they wrote it out in their clinical terms, then they wouldn't need to do that same physical exam again and again and again. When I was hospitalized, doctors and residents and, and whomever would come into the room and it would be that fragmented story and I'd have to go through it multiple times, but as far as my, my personal gastroenterologist and the, the surgeon who did my uh, resections, uh, as far as those, those professionals are concerned, I think things went pretty well in my case. Um, the background that I have with my, my dad's issues, um, it was, in my opinion, a bit more fragmented. Could very well be because it was not a 20 year long uh, process. It was more along the lines of a few months. Mm -hmm. And in that time, we changed from one gastroenterologist to the next. Uh, and there were a few surgeons that we dealt with at the hospital. And it was um, a much shorter time frame, I think, than, than right. There should be some common vocabulary that is uh, universal for everybody that's involved in the, in the care of the patient.